Ollie Killy left the world of finance and, with his partner, used their savings to start a gym. It's cost them thousands. But since lockdown last November, of course, they haven't had any clients coming in. But that hasn't stopped the bills coming in. They could be eligible here for a grant of £18,000 to keep them going until lockdown lifts. It wouldn't cover everything, but it'd be a help. The first thing it, it, it will do for us is uh, really helping us with our fixed cost. Uh, we're looking at rent, service charge, um, and insurance of the business and, and stuff like that. So that will help a lot. Uh, I think as we're getting close to the end of the or the ease of the lockdown measures as well, it's going to help us bring stuff back uh, because we, are, we hire free less personal trainers here so we can have the cash to do so as well. How much are you spending a month to keep the business afloat? Uh, right now we're looking at upward of £5,000 a month. So that will include again the rent, the charges, the electricity, uh, the, the, the wages for the cleaning, the maintenance of the estate. Uh, we have things like the subscription we've got for the online businesses. Uh, everything, literally, uh, to keep the business running is around like the £5,000 a month. Yeah. Non-essential retail, like this gift shop in Nuneaton, could be eligible for £6,000. And it can't come soon enough. As a small business on the high street, it will make a huge difference. Um, I can't wait to get my staff back. They can't wait to get back to work. And the grant will ensure that they can all come back. How much are you spending at the moment just to keep the business afloat? How much are you spending a month? Close in the region of about £2,500 a month. As a director of her own business, a salon in Litchfield, Liz Capewell hasn't received a penny. The business has, but she's not eligible for any money. And she wouldn't see any of this £6,000 either. Because how do you feel now running a business and the situation you're in? Um... I do feel a little bit let down, if I'm honest. As a director, we haven't had any financial help if we got paid in dividends. So if I was employed by someone or um, I was self-employed, I would have had money for myself. Um, and although I'm really grateful of the money that we're getting grant-wise, it is just going on the bricks and mortar to keep the salon open for us all to work there. Do you know what I mean? So it's great. I'm grateful. But it's been really tough as directors because we have been left out, I feel, um, in all of this. Like many businesses, they're feeling the strain of this pandemic. Mark Goff, ITV News.